Well, I miss having this guy in the kitchen in our studio with us, but it's so good to see you, Marcus Jones from Miss Essie's Barbecue. Is this your beautiful kitchen? This is not. This is actually a really good friend of mine, Mikkel and Stephanie. They, uh, they allowed us to come into their home and uh, use the kitchen and, uh, you know, not make too big of a mess. Well, I love <laughs> that maybe they'll have to do the dishes then, but we want to get to your recipe. What are you making yes. today? So today what we're making, we're going to make our uh, barbecue ribs. Uh, we're going to basically start from start to finish with a full slab of ribs. So here we go right here. So you can buy these at any grocery store. I bought these at Restaurant Depot. Basically, this is the whole slab. And we're just going to trim this bad boy up. So at the end of the day, you should have a nice quartered rib all the way down, all the way down mm -hmm. here. And you should have no excess meat on the end it should really it should look really nice so and do you should i just go ahead and go into it go ahead let's do it okay perfect so basically what we want to do is just kind of track these ribs right here uh right in the knuckle joint or the joints right here and then it's kind of score it right here all the way down so you can kind of know where you're cutting this is right here all this extra meat and bone and carcass you really don't want you can use it if you really want to um, but I choose not to use it just because it's just not needed. So you just want to quickly, not quickly, but because you got a knife in your hand, um, go down just like that. And you might have to go over a bone or two. Or Good one, job. Bone one. smasher. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to just track, track your, uh, track the back and make sure there's no, uh, no, um, no cartilage back here as well. I know those are anatomy terms, but... I'm glad that you're that teaching us this part, because this is the stuff you don't learn. Um, okay, with a yeah. minute left, tell us how we prepare it with the spice rub or the sauce. Perfect. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the Miss Essie's Blend barbecue sauce you can find in any grocery store, or soon you come out in any grocery store. And then all you're going to do is go over it with seasoning. Make sure it gets totally covered. Back and forth. Right? So it should look like this. At the end of the day, bam, TV for oh, Wow. Just like that. That's so simple. It looks phenomenal. So, yeah, it's very simple. And it saves you money. You know, you can buy a whole slab, and you don't have to be paying $3 a pound uh, uh, for a piece of meat that you can buy for $2 a pound. Marcus, you know your stuff, sure. and Miss Estes has the stuff to dress up your meats for all your grilling. Where can we find you and get these sauces, yes. Marcus? Well, I'm glad you asked. You can find it at Harmon's, um, any Harmon's location. Also, you can come to us directly. You can buy on our website, and also we have a great, great catering service where we cater over 50 to 1,000 people and okay. corporate catering. So I love the catering idea for these uh, social distance barbecues that we're going to have this summer, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. It's great to yes. see Miss Essie's yes. Barbecue. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.